Welcome back to Community Connection. I'm Dave Dickey. Well, 2014 was a big year for the Minnesota Marine Art Museum on a number of levels. Executive Director Andrew Moss said it was the most successful year yet for the museum. We had our most visited year ever. We had, uh, in fact, over 26,000 people um, were served um, by the museum um, in, uh, in that year alone. We had uh, our largest expansion ever, which resulted in the Richard and Jane Manoogian Gallery. Um, thanks to our collecting partners, we had so many um, additions to our collections that were, um, they've just been so wonderful for, um, for our visiting public and for our educators. I'm here to work with, including the painting behind me, um, which has been a kind of a fan favorite. And um, I think all in all, um, it was uh, just a tremendous year, I think, for uh, the region's arts community. And we're, we're looking forward to 2015 as being uh, equally as fun and dynamic and uh, interesting. We're probably, um, I think, one of the only art museums in the country that could um, very comfortably and confidently do an underwater photography series. And so um, this is our curatorial challenge for the year. We, um, we do about um, 10 exhibitions each year. And uh, this year, four of those uh, are gonna be a part of that underwater photography series. We just opened up uh, um, the first show from that series last week. Uh, it's a retrospective of the um, Institute uh, a guy named Don Fry, who was for many decades the lead photographer for the Institute of Nautical Archaeology. And um, that show will be up for a few months, and um, uh, we're really, really excited to share it with the community and, and introduce people to what underwater photography is, what it does, um, its relationship with science, its relationship with art. Um, they're just uh, incredibly interesting images from a lot of different perspectives. And so, um, I think pretty much anyone will get something out of that, uh, out of the Don Fry show, um, that, which is titled A Life Aquatic, which I think is fitting. Um, uh, of course, inspired by the name of the Wes Anderson movie, but um, definitely uh, uh, fitting in this case as a guy who has dedicated his life to um, bringing to life the, uh, the um, uh, cultural and archeological uh, treasures that we don't always get to see. There's a very interesting, I think, relationship between art and science, and this one um, can definitely be looked at from both perspectives, um, which is uh, why it was such a fitting way to start off that series. Um, the second um, exhibition in the series, which um, opens up on May 1st, is uh, an exhibition by a Madison, Wisconsin artist named Stephen Hilliard, um, which is much more um, he's, he's a new media artist. He's um, much more interested in poetry and, um, and um, artwork that creates this sort of visual language that, is, um, that can't be put into words, um, which is very unscientific. <laughs> um, but uh, anyway, the, the, the idea of the series is really to explore how these, um, how these artists are using um, their work, both artistically, scientifically, and otherwise. Also this week, it's notable that we're opening up uh, an exhibition called The Art of the Ship Model, um, which is of course a good complement to the, uh, the Don Fry uh, exhibition. And it is exactly what you think it is. It's exploring um, uh, artists who um, are exploring naval architecture and how that relates to how ships function. There's always a lot of uh, great programs and events going on at the museum. Uh, this Thursday, we have a free lecture by uh, Winona Guy who, um, uh, named Taff Roberts, who um, attempted to sail uh, the Northwest Passage, and there's a documentary produced about it. Um, that's uh, uh, this Thursday from 6 to 7 p.m. Um, also, um, on February 14th, the museum is partnering with the uh, Great River Shakespeare Festival to host a, uh, a Valentine's Day event, um, and tickets are currently available for that event um, on our website. Um, which is mmam.org. And there's information on there about um, every, basically everything that the museum is doing as far as programs, um, family programs, adult programs, um, and uh, all the exhibitions I talked about. 